Hello again, friends. Rebecca here, and welcome back to another British Monroe Design Team layout. Today, we are going to do some Vacation 2022 photos. So this is us at Myrtle Beach. Well, it's not really us. This is my niece, Evelyn, playing in the the sand there. She was getting ready to pose and sing. She was entertaining us. So I'm going to scrap these two photos, and because it's a beach photo, which they are out of line as I got in my photo orders. There's a lot of them that, I don't know, they're missing, so I have to reorder them, but I wanted to play with this fun beach collection, and these are all from the July release. So we have, this is a 17-piece stamp set, and it is called Underwater Friends, and we are going to definitely play with the mermaids today, because she's a mermaid. But this is called the, uh, the Underwater Friends, and it's BRU8916 if you want to pick this up. So yeah, we're definitely going to get some of these mermaids on there. So any layout that has to do with her, I think I'm going to showcase the mermaids. And anything that has to do with my nephew, I'm going to go with the shark and the little fishes and stuff. So we're going to see what we can do with that. And I'm also going to play with the Underwater Friends conversation clippings. So this is little conversation pieces that go with the um, July release. And we have white and black, and they say things like, make a splash, we mermaid for each other, just keep swimming, you are mermazing, live your dream, make a wish, hi, waving hello, the world is your oyster, swimming by to say hi, hello, beautiful, hope you have a fantastic birthday, stay salty and ocean full of thanks, you are wonderful, believe in yourself, best fins forever. Hope to see you soon. Sending smiles across the miles. Best fishes. Looking shark. Love you. Mermaid kisses and starfish, starfish wishes. And you have them in black on white and then white on black. So we are going to use a few of those today. Because you know, I love my worry bits. And they're called clippings. So you're just, I'm just going to trim those out and I'll show you guys how to do it. We're just going to use the trimmer. And cut them out. It's a nice heavy cardstock. And then we're going to play with some chroma mist to create our background today. And because it's Evie and she's got on a purple suit, but because there's so much, you know, sky, ocean, sand going on in here, I decided that I would pull in chroma mist in lilac, purple, and pink and create a fun kind of tie-dyed looking effect. It's basically going to be the packaging technique. And then we are going to kind of want to fill the bottom in with like the seaweed type things so kind of alternate back and forth um so yeah let us uh, go ahead and start that right so let's get these things out the way we need some packaging now i'm not going to prep um and by prep i'm not going to put gesso or anything on there because i do want it to pretty much so great and let's turn that light on so you guys can see what we're doing right all right so we're going to start with the pink and this is just just fun old chroma mist and we are just now you know that i always put it on here swirl it around so we're just going to kind of start pouncing everything down and create a fun little effect so it's going to be darker in some areas lighter in others and then we're going to come up here and just kind of a mushy mushy little pattern right and I really I know I went down here but I'm going to try to keep two defined lines so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some more layers on here. Obviously, um, I just don't want to take up like nine years of your life watching me do the packaging technique. So we are just gonna kind of spread this out just a little bit more. And like I said, we'll let that dry. I'm going to add some splatters. So we're going to do pink, then we'll do purple. Just 
that, that down. I need, I need more of a defined area, and I think the pictures are going to go kind of a little offset over here like this, so we're going to have top and bottom. bit more of this right in there. Okay, now we want to come in with the purple to go over that. Or not so much over as fill in the white spots. It's the best part of like mixed media, you guys, because You could use this technique and these colors and put it in the, you know, top and bottom, but it's always going to look different, and that's like my ultimate, my favorite thing. Oh, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but the ice cream truck's going by. <laughs> Gotta love the ice cream. There's a parade, too, today somewhere. Uh, my husband's family's in it. But we just got back. From Chicago. So we're not going anywhere, and I have to, you know, get to scrapping. So, this one I am actually not pouncing as much as I'm like trying to spread it out a little bit. Some nice coverage, but I am hoping that it looks kind of, you know, a little, a little corally, a little. And I'm gonna run off the sides as well. And then we're gonna add just a little bit more pink because I feel like there's some areas. That need some more pink. And it's okay if they mix just a little bit. So we've got that going on. And I think those two colors look gorgeous together. Alright, so just a little bit more. Just kind of fill in some of these, these gaps just a little bit, right? And it is about the layers, and because it's not prepped, it is soaking into the page nicely. So you will, you can actually see there is a defined layer. There's a defined layering system going on here. And then we're going to splatter it, let it dry. And I am just going back and forth and looking at seeing where things need additional help. Alright, so here is our fun background. It's kind of like got a florally aspect to it. But now we're just going to throw in some splatters. Spin the page. Mostly because I just don't want to get splatters on my shirt. You would think by now I would totally learn to, you know, work not good t shirts in the craft room, but we don't learn. Okay, so then we're going to splatter with the purple as well. And that's, you know, pretty much soaking in instantaneously as well. But these are two colors that I just don't find myself using enough of. And I, well, because I don't really have girls. And I don't have enough pictures of my stepdaughter. So I've got tons of pictures of, of from vacation. So we can do kid layouts because my kids aren't really kids either. I mean, they're my kids, but they're not really kids. Alright, 
So we're going to let this dry, so I'm going to put that to the side. Wipe that up a bit. And let's get some of these little word bits. I think we're going to go with the black. So we're just going to come in here. And we are just going to just trim them right up, right? So just use your trimmer. And just cut them off. These are great if you make cards. And your little sayings are already done. You pop them up on some foam. I'm going to use a lot of them, and I'm not real sure which ones I want to use, so we are just going to trim them all up. Like I said, I'm just really eyeballing it. You could definitely measure them out and this is gonna be a little bit trickier. done. And you just want to kind of come in here and just, you know, trim them up like this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off screen. Grab that once it's dry and we'll come back and I'll do some stamping and we'll get some stuff done. So I'll be right back. So I went ahead and stamped a few of the mermaid with the bow in her hair. Um, well, I propped my stamp a few times, and now I've got these two, and I used leaf green and hollyberry to color in those elements. And I'm going to decide. I'm going to fussy cut them out once they're dry and find out which one, um, because I did as well stamped her over here. I do have this portion stuck down. I don't have any of my other things. Um, but you can take, see that I took the seaweed from the stamp set and went ahead and enhanced the top and bottom borders there. And I'm going to take some of the die cuts, and this is just a summer collection. Um, however, I did get a little bit of ink because I went a little crazy, and I got a little bit of a smudge here, which we are going to nicely cover up with some embellishment pieces. I'm just kind of like pop them in and just kind of just enhance around the two photos to kind of bump up um, and I actually stamped up there once too but I got it I didn't like the placement of my stamp so easily fixed and then we are going to Pop in a, some of these little, let's see, let's do your amazing kind of those little elements just to kind of bring the black into the middle of our layout as well. And I just trimmed them up, you guys did see that. Make a splash. Just gonna kind of pop them right in there. I need something like we could do. Live your dream as well. She was performing for us, so I feel like this all works well. And I've cut them all at different sizes. Um, just for a little bit more interest. And everything is dry, so we've got that there and there. Um, I need something there while that's all drying, right? So I'm thumbing through my sticker book here. Let's pull in the strawberries. Of 
pop them there. I'm going to put the little so cool up there as well. Uh, we need something in that general vicinity. Let's pull in a blue. Let's pop this guy back up. that one there, and then this one can just kind of anchor right over it just to kind of give it a little bit of something so it's not that weird gap. And I don't know. We'll see what else we can get in there. Popping a few flip-flops down there as well. Ooh, I'm loving the way this looks. All right. So next, I just really have to wait for this to dry, and I'm probably going to use the green to make her jump off there, but we're going to do her little, the top, her little top portion, and we're going to do her bow and her tail just to make, she's, you know, she's going to pop off the page because Evie is a mermaid. So... I think we're going to use In the Sweet Old Summertime as the title. Yeah, alright. So we're going to let this dry, and I'm going to fussy cut it out, and I'll be back with an update shortly. So I did want to say that I also used the um, Detail Ink Raven Black for all of the stamping. And I went ahead and used both. I just fussy cut out the bow, so it is a little dimensional, just to kind of accent her a little bit. And I think it turned out super cute. So again, we used the Underwater Friends Conversation Clippings. We've used the Underwater Friends Stamp Set. I used these three right here to stamp here, here, and our little mermaid. And I've pulled in the Chroma Mist in lilac, purple, and pink to create our fun background. So we're going to give you guys a little bit of a close-up. I did run the stamp off of the edge here and here. Let's give you guys... Look at how pretty she is! And I think that this matches the orange, and then we've got the green just to make her pop just a little bit. But I really like this adding a little bit of color on top of the stamped image. And all of our little focus. Fun mixed media that we have going on there. I'm gonna pull you up to the top. There you go. So don't forget to go over and check out Brutus Monroe and pick you up some of the July inspiration re and releases. A lot of that's what this is from. And uh, I will leave a description on everything I used in the links down below. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Bye for now.